Hi, I'm Terry Vanover with Choosing to Rise, and I'm a divorce strategist, and I help you come through divorce without being legally, emotionally, and financially devastated. And I help you to confidently transition into the next chapter of your life. So each week we go live here on Wednesday evenings and we talk about a topic related to divorce, how to get you through divorce and how you can heal and thrive following your divorce. So our topic tonight is why does your ex seem to be getting worse? Why does the divorce seem to be intensifying your ex, right? So maybe you're thinking to yourself, I thought it would get better. I thought that my ex would, would, past all of this once once my ex realized that we were getting divorced it would it would get we'd start to move forward and you're finding that your ex is not doing any of that it's actually seems to be your ex seems to be ramping up the behaviors right so we're going to talk about that and the first thing i want to talk about is that people like this i i like to call them high conflict people i don't like to use labels because People get really, really caught up in labeling someone, and, and that's how we are kind of in this society. We like put a label on everyone, and, and it just helps us to, to wrap our brains around it if we have a definition of someone. But the truth is, it's really, really difficult to diagnose someone. Even professionals really disagree about diagnosing someone. So rather than focusing on a label, I want you to think about their behavior patterns. Look at their behavior patterns that the person is exhibiting because that's really what you need to be aware of is the behaviors that they are showing you. So my number one tip would be focus on what you can control, right? Be cognizant of the behaviors they're putting forth and if you can you know, control how that behavior impacts you, focus on what you can control. Now, so why does the the behavior seemed to intensify right at the beginning of a divorce specifically well that's because they are losing control high conflict people have a need to have a sense of control and when there's a sense of loss they really will do whatever they can to try to gain control again and they try to take back their power and Whatever their history is or whatever their dynamics are, it's, it's better if you go in knowing, especially if you had a toxic marriage and you understand that this person had certain behavior patterns when they sensed a sense of loss and when they didn't get their way, go in knowing what to expect, that you're going to expect that they're going to intensify their behavior. So you'll be better prepared to handle more conflict. So you can start rallying the troops, getting your support, by hiring the professionals you need to help you through this. Um, start working on your self um, help, getting yourself in a, in a healthy place mentally, physically, spiritually, because you're going to have a lot of conflict at you and they're going to know how to trigger you. So they know you right you were married to this person so they will do everything they can to trigger you to provoke you they know which buttons to push that's where you need to become like a zen buddha right you just need to let it all i call it becoming teflon just become teflon it all just doesn't stick to you because once you understand that this is about them gaining control so they're going to try to blame you for everything. They're going to blame you for why the divorce isn't going well. They're going to blame you for the divorce in the first place. You're the reason the marriage failed, everything. So you need to be um, Teflon supreme, right, and just let that shit go. You can't be the victim here. You can't let their story become your story, okay? So just let that slide right off of you. So knowing that this is their way to try to get back control, you have to not give away your power. If you allow them to trigger you, you're giving them your power. If you allow them to have an emotional control over you, right? They make you sad, they make you angry, they make you depressed, that's giving away your power. So it's important for you to prioritize your self-care 
and learn how to maintain self-control at all times so that you don't come off looking like the crazy person. Learn how to not let them trigger you. So, and it's, and that is easier said than done. If you think I haven't been there and done that and done some crazy things and said some crazy things, I totally understand what it's like to be under an amazing amount of stress, to feel so overwhelmed. And, and, and when you're going through divorce, I know it, it is just such an overwhelming process. You don't know how to navigate it. You don't know what your future is going to look like. And then you've got the person that you cared about, loved, gave everything, sacrificed for, and they're telling you this story and you believe them, right? They're telling you this really crazy story and you're starting to believe them. So it's really important that you understand that you need support through this. You know, I understand what it's like to feel so stressed. You can't eat. You can't sleep. You don't know, you know, where your next paycheck is coming from. You don't know where you're going to live. So I understand what it's like to feel like you're losing everything. You've had the rug pulled out from under you. Your whole life has been turned upside down. So I understand. I lost my home, my health, my support, my mom. It is a devastating time. Divorce is really, really difficult. So reach out and get the support that you deserve. I can help you. So what I'm offering is a complimentary phone session, three steps for coming through your divorce without being legally, financially, and emotionally devastated. So reach out to me if you have an ex who's very high conflict, who's making it so stressful, you can't eat, you can't sleep. Reach out to me if you want help so that you can get back to being the best parent that your kids deserve. If, if you want to learn how to navigate this process so that you're not making the mistakes that so many people make that devastate people for years, if not a lifetime. So I'm here to help you. I'm Terry Vanover. You can reach me at terryvanover at comcast.net and we'll arrange to talk together on a phone call. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Again, we meet every Wednesday evening here live on Facebook. So reach out to me. I look forward to seeing you soon.